Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace. This is going to be a short video about an update on my Shapes Art Maker work in process. I showed a video about this earlier. I'll leave a link to that video in the video description. But I was showing art like this and I made one small change and now I'm getting art like this. And the change is that I'm using Pearl and Noise to flood fill instead of flood filling with a solid color. So if we look at my previous art maker, it was using this code right here to flood fill, uh, taking a flood fill color and just placing it on the canvas. Uh, and by the way, this flood fill algorithm was by Sardicus and I just modified it. Now here's the new code. I'm still flood filling with the same colors, but now I'm multiplying by N1, which is a noise factor. And so here's the noise factor, N1 equals noise, times the current position times some resolution plus some noise time. The resolution is on my main sketch. I'm using 0 0.013. The noise time is changing the Perlin noise each time it flood fills. Uh, and I have a noise increment here. And down here on the main sketch, uh, right after I flood fill, I add to the noise time the noise increment. One other thing I'm doing is I'm multiplying by 1.4 because it was kind of dark. So if I, say, went in the opposite direction and said 0 0.08, then here it is flood filling and you're going to see it's kind of dark. It also takes quite a bit more time to do the flood filling. But if I change this back to 1.4, you'll see it's brightened it up quite a bit. So I like this better. The other thing I had to do, I was getting into infinite loops. I'm not sure why, but something to do with trying to flood fill with Perlin noise, it didn't like. But I put in a manual stack overflow interrupt. Uh, so that's in the flood fill. It, while it's flood filling, it checks if it's gotten to 2.5 million attempts to flood fill. And if it gets to there, then it interrupts. I would love to find the culprit for the infinite loop, so if you feel like taking a look at the code, you're welcome to check it out. But that is it. That's the only changes I made. These marks in here are where it's flood filling a second time. So this would be the first time it flood fills, and then when it flood fills with another color, it does something like this. So like this one has been flood filled once with this color, then it got flood filled with this color, and then it got flood filled with this color, or maybe another color. So four times I think it got flood filled. So it's kind of an interesting effect and I really love the effect on these shapes for the flood filling. It looks really nice. Like this here looks pretty cool. I like this one up here. When you run in this thing you kind of get an idea early on whether it's going to be a good one or not. So you can just hit start again if you want to get a new try. So I think this one might look nice. So of course you can save a JPEG or you can get a larger image. I usually like to save the JPEG and then get a larger image. So it's done. So I'll hit larger and this is going to take quite a while to complete. And it's done. It took several minutes. I'm going to save a JPEG. Let's open her up. And that's the final product. I think it looks okay. It's not the best one but pretty cool. So that's going to do it for this video. Link to the code is in the description. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Don't join my Discord. All that stuff. And comments. I love your comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.